I'm Sheldon Rahill, and I'm here uh, interviewing Sally Murphy. It's February 9th, 2016. Sally, when and where were you born? I was born in Terre Haute, Indiana at uh, what is now Regional Hospital. <clears throat> Back then it was called St. Anthony's. Um, I was born on May 13th, 1955, and it was a Friday the 13th. Wow. Uh, who were your parents and siblings? My <clears throat> mom and dad were Robert and Nellie Bennett, and I have one brother, and his name is also Robert. Okay. Where specifically did you guys live, and how many years did you live there in your community? We lived in Clark Center, which is west of Marshall. Um, it's along Route 40. Um, we lived there till I was a sophomore in high school, and then we moved to Marshall. And at, after I graduated from high school, why we moved back out to Clark Center. Um, what was your neighborhood like? It was a small community, um, several houses. Um, there were probably five or six families that had children. Um, we had a small gas station. And then we had a little grocery store. Um, that you could go in and you know buy bread, milk, and just a few things. Has that community changed <laughs> over the years? It has changed a lot. Um, currently, Yargus Manufacturing is in York Center, um, and it has kind of spread out and taken up where a lot of the houses were. Um, what kind of chores did you have growing up? Uh, well, just kind of your typical, you know, had to clean your room. Um, we off and on had different kinds of animals, um, like the dogs, cats. We had a pony and a goat, some chickens and ducks, and taking care of the animals. Um, I never did any cooking. Uh, did you guys have any little family traditions you ever did or anything like that? Any special days where you guys did a certain thing or certain chores? Um, well, not that I can remember. My dad worked on the railroad, and he was gone a lot. Um, at the time when I was young, he worked on what was called the extra board and would just he would go to work when they called him. You never really knew when he was going to have to work, so. Okay, where did you and your brother go to school? We went to school in Marshall. Um, I went to grade school, um, started out at South School, and then I went for part of the year in second grade to the Ohio building. Um, I went to third grade, third and fourth grade at the Old North School and then was back to the South School. Do you have any good memories from your education that you'd like to share? Uh, well, I always liked school. Um, I just remember enjoying grade school, loved all of my teachers. Um, high school, I enjoyed high school. Um, I was a decent student and didn't get in a lot of trouble, so that made it a lot more fun. <laughs> I bet. Do you have any, uh, were you involved in any sports or any sort of uh, activities with school? Uh, I played in the band. I was in the marching band and concert band and jazz band. Uh, back then, they really didn't have girls' sports. Uh, what was dating like back then compared to maybe now? It's probably a lot different now. Well, back then, of course, the girls did not ask the guys out. Um, I don't know that the girls ever paid, you know, for the date yeah. when you went out. Most of the time you went out to eat, went to a movie in Terre Haute. And there just really wasn't a lot of other stuff. You know, maybe go to a ball game. Um, when and where were you married? I was married in 1994, married Tom Murphy. And we got married at the First Congregational Church in Marshall. Uh, did you start your career after you married, or when did you start? Actually, I started teaching in 1977, and I taught school 
for 18 years, um, 11 years in second grade and seven years in fifth grade. Um, after I got married, I taught school for one year and then I quit teaching and uh, my husband and I had a seed business, so I went to work in the seed business. Okay. Um, is there, was there any historical events that stand out in your mind throughout your life that you can think of? Mm, well, probably the first one as a child. Um, I was in third grade when John F. Kennedy was assassinated. I can remember we got out of school and um, watched it on television at home. And, of course, back then it was black and white television. Um, I can remember course when his brother Robert was assassinated. Um, the Vietnam War was when I was in high school and back then they had the draft. Um, I don't recall any of the guys in my class uh, happened to sign up for the draft but my brother was two years older and his class uh, the guys had to all sign up. Okay. Uh, how was the society, how has it changed? Any sort of modern conveniences that have affected your life or just how has life changed in general? Oh, modern conveniences. Well, there's, um, of course, when I was a kid, you didn't have microwaves. Um, you had black and white television. You had um, a ringer washer, no dryer, and certainly no computers. Um, I can remember at home, as a kid, we had one telephone, and um, it was a party line, which meant you had a lot of other people listening in on your phone calls. Mm -hmm. um, my mother did not work. She was a stay-at-home mom. We had one vehicle, and like today, we have multiple vehicles in a family. And as I'd said before, my dad worked on the railroad, so when he got called to go to work, um, he had to go to Terre Haute. And my mother would take him to work, and then she'd have to go pick him up. And depended if we were in school, she would go without us if we weren't. Why, it may be the middle of the night, and you'd have to get up and get dressed and take dad to work and then go to school. So... That was kind of different than today. Yeah, a little less convenient. Yeah. Yeah, a lot less. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, Sally, for your time. Shut it off before you... <laughs>